Hello everyone, it's Chinar. Today is the second episode of Lore, but this time we are not going to visit Achtala or Kobair. Instead, we are going to discover another gorgeous place known the Sech. This beautiful road will take us to one of untouched monasteries of the northern part of Armenia, surrounded with picturesque gorge and river. On the way to the monastery, we were tempted by this meadow and decided to stop for a while to enjoy this scenery. We chased the horizon and got to see this breathtaking gorge. It is amazing, yes? Oh, these fields and mountains make you want to stay here forever. The northern part of Armenia is one of the most scenic sites of our country. As soon as you come here, you want to stay and explore more. Just look at this spectacular gorge. Deep in the forest, there is a hidden beauty that we are going to visit. It's a quite short hike, but still amazing. Every step you take, you can see beautifully carved cross stones, Hachkar in Armenia. Some of them even broken. Looking at them, you would think that it's been centuries that these monuments have been fighting with nature to stay afoot. Hey, if this is the first time you are watching my video, make sure to hit the subscribe button below, like the video and share it. We got to drink fresh mountain water and continued our hike. After hiking around 25 minutes, we got the chance to see this monument, which stood the test of time and feel its energy. The sounds of nature, especially birds singing, accompanied us all the way down. This is what all urban people miss. This kind of reunion with nature can feed your soul. The first thing that we can see is the sundial which is always located on the south-facing wall of the churches. It is used by locals and priests to know the time of a day, mainly for divine liturgy. The church is dedicated to Gregory the Illuminator, who was the first bishop of Armenian church. The complex consists of two churches, a nardex, crostons, chapels and cemetery of Mamikonian princes. The oldest building of the complex dates back to 10th century, but now only a 3-4 meters high wall remains of it. The walls of the churches are decorated with geometrical floral ornaments. You can also see many inscriptions engraved. The most recent inscription left on the wall dates back to 1247 and it is related to the end of the construction of the Nardex. The Nardex is quite unique. Unlike traditional Armenian vestibules, this is adjacent to St. Asfadzadzin, Holy Mother of God Church, from south, not to the west. It is decorated with beautifully carved ornaments, but unfortunately, many of them did not survive. We can even see most of them on the floor where they have collapsed. Through Nardex, we enter the main church of the complex dedicated to Holy Mother of God. According to the inscription left on the wall, it was built in 1221. In Middle Ages, this complex was an educational center. Many renowned Armenians studied here. Most probably, the complex was abandoned during the Mongol invasions. The area of the monastery is now in a bad condition. It is heavily overgrown by vegetation. The villagers as well as people from all over come here every year to clean up to try and save the complex from being completely destroyed. In 2014, this historic monastery was included in World Monuments Watch, which brought even more attention to the locals to try and protect these valuable monuments, especially to make it a destination for others to come and see our beautiful heritage. This was one of the first steps taken to preserve the site.
This is another example of the hidden beauties of Armenia. There are many more which we will continue to see through my channel. So make sure to subscribe to my channel not to miss new discoveries from all corners of Armenia coming soon. Our unforgettable day was completed by this marvelous sunset. This is Armenia. Make sure to come and visit our beautiful country. Thanks for watching and I will see you soon.